This video will teach you the difference between expand and expand appearance and how you can use the different features to your advantage inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Diagraphics. So here we are in Illustrator and to illustrate the point of this video, let's start off by drawing a straight line. And to make it easier to see what I'm doing, we are bumping up the stroke to 40 points. And as you can see, this line consists of a stroke which is the grey color and a path in the middle which is this tiny blue line. And Illustrator really only sees this line as the path. We can see this if we turn on the outline mode. So click Ctrl Y to put Illustrator into outline mode. And as you can see there's only this path right here. So let's switch back to preview mode. So now you're probably thinking why is this important for you and let me show you why. So while having this line selected let's go to effect and add a zigzag effect to the line. So as you can see right now, the line has turned into a zigzag just as we wanted to. But if we look closely, we can see that only the stroke has really turned into a zigzag. The path is still a straight line. And as I said before, Illustrator is really only looking at the path. This also means that if we turn on outline mode, control Y, we can see that Illustrator still only looks at this zigzag as a path. Let's go back to preview. So what does this mean? This means that we can still go to the appearance panel and modify the zigzag if we weren't happy with the first result. And we can still modify the stroke width to make it smaller or bigger if we want to. But the disadvantage is that we cannot use this line to interact with other shapes. And let me show you what I mean by this. So let's draw a circle and let's make this a fill, put it behind the line. And to see what we are doing, let's change the color. So if I select both of these shapes and let's say I wanted to cut this purple circle with this zigzag pattern right here, I will not be able to because if we put it in preview mode, you can see that Illustrator is really only seeing this as a circle and a straight line. Let's go back to preview mode. We can see this even more clearly if we select the shape builder tool. So as you can see, the shape builder tool totally ignores the zigzag pattern. So let's try to use the zigzag pattern to divide the circle. Let's go to Pathfinder menu and click divide. And as you can see, the circle is divided into two half shapes, but not with a zigzag pattern, only with the straight line. So how do we fix this issue? Let's click Ctrl Z to go back. And let's select the zigzag line only, go to object and go to expand appearance. And as you can see now, the path is following the stroke and this is what expand appearance means. It simply makes the path follow the appearance. And because the path is now a zigzag, Illustrator also sees the line as a zigzag. So let's turn on the outline mode and as you can see, we have a circle and a zigzag. Let's go back to preview. This also means that because the path is now cooked into the line, we can no longer modify the effect in the appearance panel. But because it's still a path, we can still modify the stroke width if we want to. But the advantage is that because Illustrator is now recognizing this line as a zigzag, we can now use this zigzag to cut into the purple circle. So let's select the pathfinder to illustrate this. And as you can see, now the shape builder is recognizing this zigzag shape, which means that we can now cut a zigzag shape into the purple circle. So let's click Ctrl Z to go back. So now if we select the shape builder tool once again, you can also see that the shape builder tool is ignoring the stroke. And that's because as I said, Illustrator is only looking at the path, which is this line right here. So what if we want to carve a hole similar to the stroke into the purple circle? This is where we want to use expand. So let's select the zigzag only, go to object and click expand. Make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. This now converts the stroke into a shape, which also means that the path is now running on the outside instead of the inside. So let's toggle on the preview mode to have a look at this. So as you can see, Illustrator is now recognizing this as a circle and a full zigzag shape. So let's go back to preview mode and let's select both shapes, go to the Pathfinder tool. And with this tool, we can see that Illustrator is now recognizing this as a shape, this as a shape and this as a shape. This means that we can now use this shape to cut out a hole in the purple circle. So let's select both shapes and click minus front. And as you can see, this now carved out a hole similar to the entire shape of the zigzag. And to illustrate this indeed is a hole and not a stroke, we can go to the ellipse tool and put a shape behind this shape. 
I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.